Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to create this awesome simulation you see here. And this was a video I created earlier in September of this year, and it's basically a Boyd's program, which is an artificial life program. And yeah, I'll be showing you how to make it. So Boyd's, um, you can read more about them on the Wikipedia page. Uh, I'll explain more about Boyd's later. But basically, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to program it in the processing programming language. And the processing programming language is great. Basically, uh, it's a Java-based language, which lets you draw stuff. But yeah, it's really great. I highly recommend you check out processing.org. I'll link to it in the description so you can check it out later. But now I will explain how this thing actually works. I'll also link to the Wikipedia page in the description below in case you want to learn more about Boyd's. So uh, let's get started explaining what this thing actually does. Okay, so Boyd's, um, in essence, are basically a group of like cells, you could say, or like I don't want to say cells because they can move. We'll say Boyd's, okay? So they're a group of Boyd's, and each Boyd is basically like a movable object. And each Boyd has like position, velocity, acceleration, you know, all that good physics stuff. Uh, but there's only three rules that these Boyd's follow. There's separation, alignment, and cohesion. So we have all these Boyd's, and they're moving around in a flat 2D plane. This could be in 3D, but we're going to be implementing this in 2D to make it simpler. Uh, every Boyd has a perception radius. So uh, each Boyd can only sense things within its environment up to this perception radius. So Boyd has a perception radius. And within its perception radius, it can see other Boyds. And we're going to talk about these three things. Uh, number one is separation. What is separation? Uh, it basically looks at all the other Boyds and it tries to move away from them. So if there's any Boyds that are too close, for example, uh, it will try to move away. So we can draw this little arrow and then it will push the Boyd. It will apply force in this direction. Um, this Boyd will apply a force onto our Boyd in this direction. So basically, separation means every Boyd wants to move away from all its neighbors within its perception radius. Okay, number two is cohesion. And this is kind of similar to separation, except it's cohesion. So every Boyd wants to get a little bit closer to its neighbors, as well as being further away. So this is kind of the same thing, except it's a little bit different. So you take all their neighbors, and then you take their average position. What you would end up with, um, I think, something like this. So this is their center of mass. Um, our Boyd wants to move closer to that center of mass. All right, and third, we have alignment. All right, so within its perception radius. Okay, so every Boyd looks at the other Boyds. It determines the angle of difference. So in this example, this Boyd over here is like pointed in a different direction, right? It's pointed in this direction. So this Boyd wants to rotate to match that Boyd's orientation, but it also wants to rotate to match this Boyd's orientation. So you sum all these like directional forces and then you get one alignment value, which is how much the Boyd should turn. And that's all three rules. So these may seem like simple rules, but together they form the complex movement that we saw in the video. And I'll be showing you how to implement this in processing. So the rest of this video is gonna be me programming and I haven't scripted any of this. Uh, I have the code actually printed out, but I'm going to try to not look at it as much as possible because I want this to flow, right? I want this to have a flow. I don't want it to be too artificial. I'll post the code on GitHub um, so you can download it and run it if you want to try it out yourself and like change up the code. Okay, so basically this coding part's gonna be like really highly edited. I'm not gonna explain every line because you don't need to know about every line. All right, so with processing, uh, the first thing we need to do is to create a setup. We're going to name it boids.pde. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to set up processing because you can find tutorials of it online. Most people I think would like to, would prefer to use the processing IDE, but I'm gonna use Notepad++ and the compiler. If you, haven't, uh, if you don't have much experience with processing, I'll explain the basics of what you need to do, but it's basically Java, it has Java syntax. So we're gonna have a setup function. This is basically what gets called um, at the start of the execution of the program. We're also gonna de declare a few variables first. So int n, this is gonna declare how many voids. All right, and then um, next part is coefficients. So when I said separation, cohesion, and alignment, they each have coefficients which determine um, how much you multiply the force that the forces that we determine. So when we calculated like the sum of the forces um, 
we're going to multiply that by some coefficient just to like like make sure we value each one the right amount so we're going to say all right so now we've declared our coefficients um we're also going to need to make a class for the voids so let's just do that real quickly void.pde okay we're going to be declaring a class um this represents one void uh attributes p vector p vector is basically um a 1d array with two attributes x and y and this is just like useful because processing it's like built into the processing and you can do many useful operations on them like um i don't know adding subtracting multiplying whatever okay so we're gonna have a position a velocity and an acceleration okay so now we need to make the constructor class so I think that's all we need to do for the constructor, I think. Okay, and now at the beginning of the program, we're going to declare um, an array of voids, voids. Okay, and then in setup, we're going to declare all, all of our variables. So n, we're gonna say 200, I think. Yeah, these are just uh, values that I determined beforehand. You might wanna play around with this because, uh, I don't know, it might make like different different behavior. Okay, and then what else do we need to do in the setup function? I think uh, we just need to declare our array of voids um, zero and height. I think this is how you do it. I don't know. Um, and then the ex the velocity. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna say random two D. Okay, random two D basically just like declares a random uh, unit vector. Now we've declared all of our voids. We also need to declare uh, more global variables, max speed and max force so basically max speed determines uh, how fast it can go and max force it determines the maximum magnitude of how like how much force can be applied to the voids what we're going to do next the second most important is to draw it so uh we're gonna okay and that's the drawing function we've taken care of drawing the void uh, now we actually need to do something else we're going to call this display because what I did in the video is that the voids can wrap around the screen. So it's actually a torus and that makes it easier because then the voids don't have to actually like, crash into the side and do some like crashing detection, collision detection, whatever. So uh, we're just going to have make them wrap around and display is going to utilize the draw void function in order to uh, draw the voids if they ever like go off screen. So what we're going to do. Okay, after that, we're gonna do an update function, which updates the location of the void. Um, for now, this is what we're gonna have. Okay, we're also gonna need a draw function or method, because this is Java. We're gonna need a draw method to, this is basically what's done every frame. So, okay, so inside the draw function, we're just going to draw the background and then update every single void. Hopefully all this works. I'm gonna compile it and run it. Okay, no pointer exception. Wow, okay, let's see. Okay, time to do some debugging. Okay, so actually we did need to use this dot notation. And then after this, it should just run fine. All right. So currently all the boys are just moving in straight lines because we declared their acceleration and their velocity. But um, nothing else is working as intended because we haven't implemented separation, alignment, and cohesion. Uh, one more thing before we actually do that, um, we're, we're going to be doing the wrapping. So uh, just like wrap the boys around if they ever got to the other side. So all right, and now we implemented the wrapping. So hopefully Boyd should no longer disappear off the sides. They should instead appear on the other side. All right, and then now for the big moment, that was all just build up. We're going to be actually implementing these three rules. All right, so first one, uh, separation. So all the boys are going to be moving apart initially. Okay, so with all of these three rules, what we're gonna do actually is we're going to determine what velocity we want to be at and then apply a force so that we actually reach that velocity. So uh, what we're gonna do for separation, um, tar target velocity, so processing actually does a good job of providing builds in functions and what this dist function does it um, it returns the distance between two voids. Okay, so 
after that, uh, we're going to be doing... Yeah, we're going to be checking if it's actually um, a valid other Boyd. So we need the other Boyd to not be the same as, our, uh, as ourselves. And we need to make sure that D is less than the radius. And I think I forgot to declare the radius here. All right, and then um, all of this other stuff that I'm going to write is just going to be what I described earlier on the OneNote page. So... So if I actually call it, they should start to separate and okay, okay, yeah, they're trying to very aggressively separate from each other. Um, yeah, what we actually need to do is to limit the vel uh, velocity. And there we go. Uh, they're off. I think we need to limit it before um, the position is added on, the velocity is added onto the position. Okay, what did I set the max speed to be? Max speed should actually be three, it shouldn't be too great. So, I think overall, it's working. So, I'm gonna continue to implement cohesion and alignment, and yeah, uh, I'm not gonna actually describe all this because it's probably gonna be really boring. Um, but yeah, you can look at the code. Uh, it's also gonna be on the, uh, on the GitHub, so yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it. Maybe just like overall, but I don't know. I'm probably going to edit most of it out anyway. Let's see how it does. Okay. This is very aggressive. I think something has gone wrong. I think that we did something very wrong. But before I call that, um, I'm going to say a line. All right, and now it's time for the big reel. I just finished writing the align method. Let's see what this does. Okay, total cannot be resolved to a variable. Okay, typos, typos. Okay, so this is very awkward movements. Uh, this is not what I expected. I think it aligns like too well, you know? But this was the alignment coefficient Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so I, I, I used a different order. So hopefully this works. It doesn't align too much. All right, I think we got the movement we desired. All right, now it's just time to add a lot more boids. And yeah, we're done. Okay, so this was not a tutorial that, like, it's, it's not a follow-along tutorial because there are just, like, so many edits and so many, like, speed-ups. Um... See, I'm sorry you can follow along, but I think this video was just meant to like document how like you might have done this, and like maybe if you're you're actually trying to follow along, you can pause in the middle. I don't know, like Hobson, you know that channel? Um, that's that's a great channel. Uh, basically, they just do projects and like kind of like time lapse through it and like do a voiceover. Uh, I'm doing it live, but yeah, I guess uh, I'll just make this full screen and then I can just like do the outro there. All right, so thanks for watching, everyone. I'll include the link to the GitHub repository for this code in the description below. Also include the link to the processing website. You should definitely go check out processing. It's great. Uh, you should also check out the Boyd's Wikipedia page. And uh, I mentioned the, um, the channel Hopson at the end, I think. So go check out all those links. If you want more tutorial videos like this, please let me know in the comments and I'll definitely try to make more of these. Uh, if you want me to change the style of these videos, like you want me to, I don't know, maybe go more in depth and make like a four part series for every tutorial, tell me about that. Um, if you want me to make quicker videos, but like make them higher quality, uh, like explain less of the process, um, also let me know about that. So tell me what kind of tutorial videos you like. All right, so this video is gonna need heavy editing, um, but again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.